Dear Dina, my son and daughter-in-law just had their third baby, a little girl, after two boys. I was thrilled and had great fun buying newborn clothing. Oh, yeah. I wrapped the gifts and gave them to my daughter-in-law. She seemed truly appreciative, but not even one outfit has been worn. They are newborn sized and seasonal, so soon they'll be useless. This is making me very sad. How can I deal with my feelings of hurt and disappointment? I know this must sound childish, but I'm struggling not to say something to her about the baby not wearing any of my gifts. Do I need to just let it go? Signed, Sad Mimi from Marriottsville. Oh, it is mm. exciting when your grandbabies, grandbabies are, are here and they're coming and just all of that emotion and you want to you know, buy all the cute little outfits. I get all that. One thing, believe me, I get that. <laughs> One thing I would encourage you to try and remember moving forward is anytime you get a gift for someone, it's about that person. It's not about you. So the gift is for that person. And, and, and so I guess that's a good way to, to measure your expectations. You're not responsible for how someone receives your gift. You're just responsible for the intention of giving it and your heart in that matter. With that said, I would say you just have a simple conversation. I, I understand your hurt feelings. I, I absolutely understand that. And I think it's okay for you to have a conversation with your daughter-in-law and your son and just say, gosh, I really wanted to help, you know, and I thought maybe this would be a good way to do so since you don't have a girl, this is your first girl. Mm. And I would love to see her in the outfits. Can we at least put them on and maybe I do a photo shoot or something mm -hmm. like that? I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just, just so that you're not inserting yourself in their lives, but you're also um, kind of getting your own heart taken care of at the same time. That's one suggestion I have. Yeah. And I mean, look at this. So my mother-in-law was so excited when we had Brody, our daughter. Yes. Uh, she loves all the frilly dresses and the bows and all of that. And I'm not that sort of person, but I always made sure if she was watching the kids that they went over in the outfits that she chose. Sure. I put the bows in the hair, put the headbands, you know, did the frilly dresses because I knew it would make her happy. And I, and it just wasn't something I would do every day. But yeah. when I, when they went over there or we were doing something as a family, I always made sure that that was happening. Yeah. And it's a very little to ask sure. of somebody, to be honest. Yeah. So. And you're honoring the gift giver. Yeah. And daughter-in-law probably isn't even aware. And so I think just saying, hey, I'd love to. Exactly. I'm, hey, can I babysit? And then you put her in right. all the clothes and you take the pictures and enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't think it's malicious intent. No, I no. really don't. She's probably overwhelmed. She's a new mom. Yeah. You know? so, yeah. And, and to be honest, and I'm not saying that this is making it any less valid of, of a point for you being hurt, but the baby has no idea no. what clothes it's no. wearing. Yes. No, and wait till they get older and right. then you can shower them with tons and of gifts. And go shopping yes, together. Yes, and go shopping, yes. My yes. grandmother used to take me shopping yeah. and I loved it. It was yeah. great in yeah. any event. So we congratulations, by the way. Enjoy that new baby and shower that baby with love. Yes. Lots and lots of love. Dear Dina, we're here for you. We will give you a perspective, maybe something that you hadn't thought of. You can take it or leave it, but we encourage you to ask completely anonymously. You'll find it at key103radio.com. Dear Dina.